Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. We are going to uh, get started and get into the show right away. One of the things I want to say, I always say at the beginning of the show, no matter where you are watching me, or what what um, platform, um, please do not get do not get scammed. Um, there are a lot of people out there taking content of creators and reposting it and using it and just please don't get scammed uh be very careful i will never reach out and tell you you need something do you want something i always let people go to my website and book okay now that i've said that i'm going to go straight uh straight in, uh, into uh, the show. So Patrick, Patrick is on. So, okay, the show goes live every Monday at 11 a.m. And every, I mean, every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central time. And if you join us early, you can call into the show early, 845-277-9131 to ask a question or connect with a loved one. If you call in 15 minutes, up to 15 minutes early, uh, you're pretty much guaranteed I will get to you. Um, and in the chat, I answer questions and we just have like conversations going on in the chat. So this morning, Patrick's song was, I wanna be a cowboy by Kid Rock. And he said it was one of his favorite. And I said, mine too. I love Kid Rock. I was um, one of the like, cage dancers at his concert at at Summerfest um years ago I mean years and years ago what it was so amazing Heather one of my friends Heather had put it together Heather and I um I think it was Heather uh and a couple of other girls we we each had our own little thing and we danced during I think one or two songs yeah it was just so much fun and then Patrick said he was at that concert so Patrick there it is like with six six feet of separation do they call it do they call that six feet of separation I think so hey Fawn hey Rebecca um Heather's here also um a blessed one is here you know life is just this really amazing interesting dynamic and i'm gonna tell you guys um it's it's gonna sound so crazy so there's this theory and i want you guys just to play with this with me for a moment okay so there's all these different theories but i'm just going to play with one of the theories that will helpfully help you help ho hopefully help you on your journey and this was coming to me this weekend and it, it, it kind of was for as far as my mind goes like i go out to some pretty what people would consider radical bizarre belief sy systems as far as how the world works and manifesting and creating this was this was a, not as far as i've gone but pretty close so there's this theory that each and every one of us is the only one that exists. So for example, I'll just use myself, but I want you to use yourself. I am the only person that exists and everyone and everything that shows up is helping me complete my picture. Okay. If you stop at, I'm the only one ex that exists, it's can be an overwhelming thought of I'm here alone it's just me and just hold on to that thought for a second and then everything that comes in after that is based on that thought like that either that fear that fact that fun but more so everything that comes into our existence is something we've already thought about or known about or want now it can come in like for example if you think about i'm just gonna use a car 
for an example, when you think about, let's just say a certain type of car, like a Mercedes Benz, all of a sudden you start seeing them everywhere, right? Or you get a certain car and you start seeing them everywhere. Or you've had an experience with a person and something about that experience starts showing up in all your conversations or all of the people that are around you. Now let's just push all of that aside and let's go to this because this was my takeaway. <laughs> well, if each and every one of us is the only one that's here and we're coexisting to help each other, good thought, then everything you want is here for you. It goes back to manifesting. It always goes back to manifesting. The career you want, the, the, the business you want, the, the whatever it is you want, it's all designed to come to you when you're in allowance of that. When you when you're like when you click and say, yeah, that's it is, it's here for me. I I'm I've created this. Um, okay, so that's that's where my mind went this weekend. Why am I single again? Yeah, all those reasons. <laughs> and it's fun. Um, okay, I just want to remind everybody I have two programs coming up. Um, weight and body the the ideal weight and body program which is starting i think a week from today nope two weeks from today two weeks from today and it's six sessions to help you achieve your ideal body and then the self program which i'm i i love this program it is um it is and, and in the the weight program and ideal body we we cover emotional psychological um physical the, the whole it's it's very in-depth it's six sessions each session covers its own thing why we emotionally eat psychologically eat why we're not letting go of the weight um if we want to let go of the weight why we can't achieve our perfect body that we want, uh, whatever that may look like for each person. The, the self program each week, we cover one of the following self respect, self confidence, self esteem, self love, self worth. And there's I always forget one of them. I apologize for that. I should have it written down. Um, but but each week we cover one and we do a deep dive into healing it back to where it's supposed to be so that you have the healthiest self-esteem, self-worth, self-acceptance, um, um, self-confidence, self-love. <clears throat> and we work each week on one of those. And the beautiful, what I 100% adore is I found a way that each session is only $25. And you don't have to take all six sessions. You can try one. If you like it, then you can do another and do another. If you can only do one, that's fine. You can only do one, but at least you get that one in. Um, it is online, so everybody can do it. And it will be, uh, you will be able to use the replay. You can upload the, the session and uh, keep the replay and keep doing the replay. And there was one more thing. Uh, so even if you can't make the time, like the actual time of the program, you can listen to it later and have that to go back to again and again. Okay, enough about that. If you'd like to call in, if you have a question about life, love, career, finances, um, want to connect with a loved one on the other side call in 845-277-9131 if you'd like to ask a question in the chat i'll be getting to those in a moment um i am going to do some names i don't know if i'm going to get to songs this morning but i will tell you I, every morning i wake up with a song and my song this morning was that song which i really don't no, no, that of course I've heard this song, but I don't know, no, this song is that song. I've got a pocket full of sunshine. Da, na, 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 na. I, and that's the only thing <laughs> that is the 
the only, I keep hearing that verse again and again and again and again. And so there it goes. Um, yeah, crazy. Uh, my TikTok this morning, my TikTok healing, and I do, I I'm trying to do one every day to get them out. My TikTok healing this morning was childhood trauma and childhood wounds. So it was actually childhood wounds, but, um, you can go ahead and it, when you're ready, go over there. I will be uploading it to everything else, but every, every single healing is on TikTok. So if you want to go through them, there's, it covers everything. Okay. Uh, names, names of loved ones or your name from a loved one on the other side. Peter or Pietro, P Pietro is the first name. Uh, the next name is Nico. The next name is Nicholas. The next name is, um, uh, Joshua, the next name is Jimmy, the next name is Lola. <laughs> Her name was Lola, Lola Falana. Is that, is that the right way? Are those the right song? Is that the, I think that was, that's the song. <laughs> um, uh, okay, the, um, <laughs> the next name. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The next name is Olivia. The next name is um, mm, mm, M Y K I E L. Mikeel. I'm not sure, but that's they're showing me this the spelling. Um, the next <clears throat> the next name is. Jennifer, the next, <clears throat> excuse me for my frogginess. Um, the next name is Houston. The next name is uh, again. Okay, I want to make sure I'm pronouncing it right or spelling it. So I'm asking them to 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 give it L I E N. D R A Leandra Leandre Leandre L I E N D R A. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take two more names Diane, Diane. Boy, that came in fast and hard, Diane. And then uh, Phil. And those are the names for this morning, everybody. Those are the names. Uh, I'm making up the lyrics. I'm mixing up the lyrics. I believe I am. Copacabana, the Copa. But okay, yes. So Patrick is the 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 person for the music, and he's saying he's right. That's the Copacabana. What's the song Lola? Wasn't there a song Lola or Lola Falana? I, I I just feel like that might have been in a song at some point. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Thank you, Patrick. I'm gonna go to the first caller. Um, the first caller is uh oops, seven zero eight. What's your name and where are you calling from? Pat from Illinois. Okay, how can I help you today? Thanks for calling in. Thank you for taking the call. Um, you know, I've been through a lot with my, my son um, in the last two years. Um, and I ended up, you know, losing my house, getting rid of my house. Um, and I'm in an apartment now. And I feel it was a mistake to do what I did with the house. But anyway, my son is with me temporarily. He's been through a lot. And um, we just, he blames everything on me and he'll be leaving shortly. And I'll be having, you know, to, to get a roommate. I just don't know if we'll ever get to a point where at least he takes responsibility for some of the things that have gone on. 
and stop punishing me and blaming me. Okay. I, you know, I'm, so people who know me, people who call in often, I know I channel, I channel, um, ascended ones, angels, whatever loved ones from the other side. And oftentimes the way the channeling comes out, it can sound a little harsh to people if they are not um, familiar with the way I work or ready to hear what needs to be said. And I'm going to channel a little bit for you and what I'm going to say, please don't take it personally and please don't be upset by it. Um, and I want you, you know, once the show is done, I want you to come back tomorrow and I want you to listen to this part of it again to help you because the first time we hear something, we, we oftentimes miss pieces of it and it, you know, we, we don't take it all in and, and, um, and so I'm just going to start the message now. And the message is, um, sometimes some people will never take responsibility. It's not in their nature and they haven't been made to take responsibility throughout. Even if you've tried to help him to take responsibility and see, um, sometimes people can be a bit manipulative and they don't take responsibility. And so what happens is either one of two things, there is a separation, it's a partial separation or a complete separation. And in this case, the two of you moving away from each other is possibly the best thing that could happen because separation helps people when they have to be on their own and they have no one to blame, they start to see their own behaviors and actions. And second, when people actually become, like in your case, they carry the role of the person they're blaming, then they can understand from the other person's perspective of why the choices were made that were made. But unfortunately, in your case, until he is in a position where he has to have some isolation from you so he can't continue to blame you but then also has to see things from a different perspective um it's going to be the way it is so one of the things that someone might recommend is that once um, you two live in separate spaces, really minimize connection and conversation between the two of you so that he can start to recognize what his actions and behaviors are and take some accountability and responsibility for that. Now, sometimes that just never happens. Sometimes that won't, won't ever come about. Um, and sometimes even once somebody passes, the other person still will be blaming them for everything. And it's because a person doesn't have any self-awareness or any self-responsibility. And in that case, there's not a lot you can do except protect yourself moving forward. Put yourself in a position where whatever comes next, you don't get blamed for it. And there's that doesn't make you a bad person. You have the right to have healthy boundaries. You have the right to protect yourself and you have the right to have your life be somewhat at peace. And then at that point, if there's some self-awareness on his part and he can start to say, you know, I see where this could have gone this way or that way. You can come back in. One of the things I keep hearing, and I, I do, I'm just going to say it the way I'm hearing it, drugs, medication, drugs, medication, whether, and when they say drugs, medication, it can mean either someone abused drugs or they took the wrong drugs 
as a, a it was a med medication they took somebody else's medication or they took the wrong medication or drugs or they're supposed to be on some sort of medication to help stabilize them and their processes whatever the case is here i keep hearing this now i hear 15 was a pivotal 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 year and 12. So at 12 and 15, things happened in your son's life that changed certain dynamics for him. And I'm not making excuses because things happen to all of us at different points in our life. It's how we perceive, how, how we perceive those things. So when something happens, do we look at it as we're the victim and that's the bad guy? And at, when we're younger, that that is typically how some people handle it. Or do we look at it in a different way? Um, how we see things, and we have the right to change our perception of things as time goes on. And what we want to do is make sure that we are growing with it. Now, if he's not growing, if he's not allowing for that, um, that could be part of the problem. I'm going to, I'm going to um, do a couple of things here. I'm going to do a clearing for uh, he, him to have some self-awareness and ev any, everybody, we need self-awareness if we're going to grow and evolve. So we're going to clear anything stopping or blocking self-awareness. But the other thing I'm getting for him especially is he might, I'm getting that there might be a, a frontal, fr yeah, frontal lobe, the whole frontal lobe. We're going to just start to try to ask that that be healed um, gently and slowly. Um, I, I, can I, know, can I can yeah, I, go ahead. It, it, well, you're uh, correct about the, um, you know, he, he did drink um and he's in a better place right now um but yes and he did have something happen to him when he was seven years old and i know that was traumatizing but i think i'm i think my responsibility is i played the victim to all of it and so he was allowed to to do the things he did because i allowed it before his father passed he never said anything when his father passed I got it all. So that is correct about the alcohol. Okay. So the the one thing I want to say, and I I know I I'm going to I'm going to say some things here. And number one, nobody gets a book. Whether you have children or pets or whatever it is you choose. Nobody has a book that says, this is what's going to happen and this is how you should handle it. And unfortunately, people, people have traumatic things happen to them. And when something happens to your pet or your child or your, you know, even it can be extended family you can take on that thing the the thing what i you know if you want a recommendation that will help the two of you talk through it i would say go to three therapy sessions where you can just put everything on the table and only three and the reason i say three is because when we bring up things and talk about them we're reprogramming our mind and re solidifying everything that happened in three sessions, you get it out, and you don't even need to do this with a therapist, but a therapist helps to keep it, you know, kind of even back and forth. But after three, you have to get out. You can't keep going back and rehashing the same stories over and over again. But then I would recommend that, you know, you do a different type of work, such as you know, hypnosis helps you get to the source of something and pull it out and heal it. You don't even have to relook at it. So whether it's for your son or you or the two of you together doing hypnosis to heal this, 
it's very powerful. Um, and let's not blame anymore. Let's not take responsibility anymore. Let's not sit in a space where you are saying, I reacted this way. And so I'm taking on responsibility. You reacted in the way you knew how to. And, and, and I think everybody does the best they can. And sometimes children can, you know, try to, if not guided in a way, will take advantage of that. And, he, and here's what I'm going to say with this healing work. And I really go to TikTok, look at my healings and call your, you know, say heal this for my son and I. There's Today I did childhood wounds. Um, I did the mother wound, the father wound last week. Go there and start playing them and say heal this for me and my son. There's 60 seconds each. It's really easy. They're also on YouTube shorts. So please consider that. And then if you would like to, uh, if you talk with your son or you yourself would like to do the hypnosis, let me know. You can do the self program, which is phenomenally priced. And once you have that, you can share it with your son. Um, but those are the recommendations I would have. Now, moving forward, what I'm going to say to you again, we all have things happen to us and sometimes whatever happened to him it's it is sad and i'm sorry for that but sometimes you need that separation so that if you are going to connect again you, it can be a healthier connection that's the way i'm going to say that to you i really truly hope that's helpful um I'm going to go to the first uh, first uh, uh, YouTube question. And Heather was saying earlier, um, you know, she's been in this on again, off again relationship and just really trying to finally cut it. So we're going to do a healing, clearing, releasing. We're going to cut all the cords. We're going to send everybody's energy back to the appropriate people, his energy back to him, your energy back to you. And for anybody who's going through a breakup and has been in an on again, off again relationship, we're going to heal, clear, release, why? And then any trauma bonds, we're going to pull all of those. And here's what I am going to say. And it was a lot, Heather, so I didn't want to uh, just try to type it all out on the um, on the on the chat here um it is very difficult when we care about someone to let go of that person and to move into a new direction but And it's not about meeting someone new always. It's not about being in a situation where we can, you know, oh, I'm good. I'm going to let go of this person and go get somebody new. Sometimes it's just about getting back to you, getting back to who you are or who you're supposed to be, who you were before the whole thing started and just being able to be peaceful in that place. To be able to be peaceful in that situation. As difficult as it can be, sometimes when we know we have to let go of someone, it's even more difficult to keep the back and forth going. I know temporarily it can be good because for that moment there's someone there. But just um, try your best to just block it out and move on. Because I promise you, Heather, there's someone else that's going to come in. But the longer you keep this going, 
the more difficult it's going to be for the next person and you, and the further it's going to push the next person back. If you'd like to call in, <clears throat> ask a question, connect with a loved one, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 475. 475, what's your name and where are you calling from? Sean, calling from Connecticut. Hey, Sean, how can I help you today? <clears throat> well, um, when I called in last time, I told you I was connecting with a friend. Her name was Elisa. And I told you that I had uh, uh, given her a card, and it turned out it was her birthday. But I'd like to read that card to you and find out what kind of um, intact it has on her in terms of our relationship growing and such. And it goes like this. Okay, wait, Sean. Sean, let's, yeah. let's do this instead. How long have you known this woman? I know her since May. Okay. And Sean, how long have the two of you been dating? Oh, no, we haven't really been dating yet. Okay. Let's... I want to ask her out, though. Which I, which I, I've asked her, but I know she works a lot of hours. Okay. Here's, I think on the message I gave you last week, it was like, Watch your intensity. And I can tell, Sean, you're really an overthinker. You tend to really uh, try to manage all of the situation. Here's what I'm going to say to you. Um, and I, I appreciate that you want to read the card, but we're not going to do that. Um, I can tell you this, until you guys are a solid six weeks into dating, actual dating, everything that's exchanged is considered friendship material. It doesn't matter what it says, in a girl world, in, in most world, if a male friend gives me a card for my birthday, I'm going to think that was so sweet, no matter what the card says. Even if it says, I love you until the end of my days, I'm going to think that was a, an awesome friend card. That was awesome. If it says, you know, you're just one of the greatest people I've ever met, I'm going to take that in the friend or the beginning or the new context because we have not crossed that bridge to the next step. So it doesn't matter what the card says, it's being taken from the context of where the relationship is, okay? So what I'm gonna recommend to you, Sean, is you know just ask her out, just ask her to lunch and let her know, be clear that it is a date. Say, I, you know, I'd really like to spend some time with you. Let's go to lunch. I would like us to get to know each other on a different level and have that be that. Okay, Sean? Okay. Excellent. Sean, I appreciate your call. I really, really, truly hope this was helpful. Yes, it was. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I am going to go to the next question. Hey, first name, last name. I'm going to, how am I supposed to focus on my business today when I'm out in the ethers today and still processing things that happened with the love energy guy? Okay, um, I just hear, pull yourself back in allow yourself to just only focus on work and this is you know this is a thing that people do and we start to um good bad or indifferent when we keep our mind going on the situation the person what happened good or bad um we're making it bigger than it was or worse or better than it was we need to completely compartmentalize that and pull ourselves back. I'm going to help you with that a bit. And then we need to stay in that space of just being 
um, focused and and in that space. I'm gonna go to the next question online. If you'd like to call in 845-277-9131 is the call in number. Um, the next question is, when do you see me buying an investment house? Will I find one soon? Not as soon as you would like to. Well, probably because you would have already liked to find one, Elizabeth. What I'm getting for you, you may, is she going to find one in 2024? Uh, will she have one by 2025? Elizabeth, tell me what area do you live in, please? I'm going to scroll all the way down. Wow, there's a lot of questions online. I love that. Thank you, guys. Keep the questions coming. Elizabeth, tell me what area do you live in? Um, I'm going to say this. I hear that in May, I know that's a bit off, you're going to find the perfect place. Now, is that your second place or is that, your, is that the very next investment place? Or is that, you know, one after the next one? Um, I'm, I'm going to do it my my old school way. I'm going to go through and ask, is she going to find one July, August, September? May, I think it might not. You know, you could, Elizabeth, you could settle on something before May. You may find something before me. It might not be exactly what you're looking for or in the price or have what you want. I do feel like, though, in May, you are going to find a property that you really want to invest in and you're absolutely going to love it. I hope that's helpful. Uh, let's see. Hey, Mystic Raven. Hey, Erin. Erin wants to know, should I apply for and accept a new job? I hear yes to both. I hear yes, Erin. Um, and I said this to somebody earlier on the chat, just don't let the current company know you are looking for another position if it's outside of your company. Um, but I feel like it is time for you to move move up, move up and move on is what I'm getting, Erin. Natalie wants to know. Oops, Natalie. No, Natalie. No. Um, here's the thing, Natalie. I take specific questions. You get one question. It can be about life, love, career, finances. I don't do general readings. I do private sessions where you can get a general reading. Um, so being mindful of everybody else online and asking questions, uh, you can ask a specific question, Natalie. Thank you so much for that. Empress, queen, all the above and beautiful. Uh, you putting out threats, acting like you're a so-called reading. Oh, Empress Queen, how kind of you uh, to come onto my page during my show and make comments uh, just to give yourself a little bit of clout here. Empress Queen, if you were a real queen, you absolutely would not need to do that. Now, would you? Who came to who? Who who came to who? I don't even know who you are. You don't even exist in our world. And yet here you are. Here you are trying to show up and show out and be that. And just like that, poof, you're gone, never to be seen again. If you're gonna make, if you're gonna go to somebody's page and take the time, if you're gonna go to somebody's show or their live or whatever they're doing and start making comments, remember what you put out, you will get back. So I'm gonna send you love because it seems like you need it, but the rest of us, we're just gonna move on with our life in a happy, loving way. Thank you. 
Uh, should I date Cornelius? Um, Keisha wants to know, should I date Cornelius or go back to Eugene? Oh my goodness. Um, you should not go back to Eugene. That would not be the best idea. You can date Cornelius, but I think feel like there's someone else coming in and I don't know um Keisha I want you to tell me do you know somebody by the name of Derek and that can be somebody like who has passed on or somebody who's here um do you know somebody by the name of Derek um, because I keep hearing Derek, Derek, Derek. Now that doesn't mean you sh the next person that you're going to date is Derek. It, it could, but I think somebody named Derek might be giving you the message. Uh, there's somebody else. There is a, another potential person that you could date that might be a really good person for you to date. Um, so that might be uh, something to think about. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, this is, does, I'm going to put this up. Hey, Genevieve, I'm going to put this up. And uh, does Hassam love, I don't want to say your name wrong. And I apologize for not saying it. Um, Mahin, I think you, Mahin, does, okay, um, does he, does the, I keep hearing not the way you think. There may be love there, but it's either not to the level of love you want or the level of love you need. It may not be the type of love just i just keep hearing not the way you think so whatever that means for you now i'm going to ask i'm i'm actually i'm going to ask this differently because if somebody loves us it's it's one thing but do they want for do they want to have that relationship with us? Do they want to move forward with us? Do they want to, you know, build a future with us? So that's the question I'm going to ask. And what I'm actually hearing is you need to ask yourself that question too. Do you really want to build a future with this particular person? You know, we think it's all about love. We think, oh, does this person love me? Everybody loves differently and to different levels. So one of the things I want to say to you is what I'm getting here is does this person want to build a future? It's a very soft yes. So they're not sure 100% positive yet, but they're looking at it. They are looking at it. And that's the better question to ask. Um, because, and I'm going to say this, and please don't, don't anybody be offended by this, but there are men and women out there having affairs with people they love, but they don't want to build a future with them. They're just, they're the mashed potatoes to the, to the, you know, steak they have at home. Um, they're not there. They may have feelings for that person. They may love that person. They don't love them the same way as they do their, their wife or their live in partner, but they love them. They love what they do for them. And they definitely don't want a future with them. They're not trying to get out of what they're in to be with that person and move forward. And that's probably okay for both people. And I'm not, I'm not judging in any way. I'm just saying there's different types of love and different ways of love. So what if you want to know, does this person want a future with me? Are we going to build 
a loving future, that's that's the more important thing because someone can can love you but only view you as this part of their life and you'll remain that forever. So it's important to know that. And just because somebody loves you, it doesn't mean they're going to um, move forward with you either. Okay, so that's that's enough on that. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope that helps, love. I really, really uh, hope that helps you. Uh, Okay, first name, last name, I think I I uh, helped ask, answer that. Um, okay, Keisha, I think I answered your question. Also, I think I'm repeating. I think, here we go. Goodness gracious, that's new. There we go. Um, hi, Tony, will I meet a significant other this summer? I love the way you asked that. Thank you so much. I can tell you, you're going to meet someone who's been significant to you in the fall, who who is going to be significant, a significant partner in the fall. And a significant, to me, a significant partner is somebody who has the potential to be long-term and you're going to learn and grow in love as long as you can communicate and work things out appropriately. So I'm going to say you're going to meet this person late summer, early fall, September, October time. Uh, make sure you, I, I, I actually, I don't know if you have an Oktoberfest where you are. Uh, I don't know why that popped in. I just see like, you know those German dresses where it's the straps and the, I just see some of that like an October fest or German fest looking sort of thing. It doesn't mean that that's going on. It just means that that might be the time or type of place that you meet them. Or if there's a restaurant that has that type of garb on i do feel like that's going to be um be where you're going to meet them and it's again september october so keep open to that now if you meet somebody um prior to that um it could be remember timelines are not solid but i do feel like you are going to be in a space where in September, October, this person can come in and everything can pro progress beautifully. Okay, let's go here. Hey, Janie, how are you? Okay. Oh, Derek. Okay, Keisha says Derek is her cousin. Okay, good. Okay, good. That's good to know. Hey, Kavita. Um... Hi, Tony. I'm trying to decide whether or not to attend a workshop with RJ Spina in July. Would it benefit, would I benefit from attending? I just feel like, Kavita, what I'm hearing is not so much. It's not going to be what you think it is. Um, like the content, you might already be familiar with it. You might think like you might feel like you're going to get this out of it, but you, you're not. You might get something else out of it, but you're not going to get what you want out of it. That's the main thing I'm hearing. Whatever your expectation or your want for this, whatever you think like, oh, I'm going to get this or this will benefit me and it's not going to happen that way. So I'm really sorry. I feel like save your money and use it for something that'll be uh, very, very beneficial to you. Um, Janie Jane. And if I say anybody's name wrong, I truly do apologize. The print is small. I can't make it bigger. And there's a, a light flashing in my eyes that offsets everything. Uh, will I be meeting a new love soon, Janie? Yes, I hear yes, and just like this big smile comes on my face. Um, 
Yes, you will. And this person in your eyes is going to be magnificent. Um, I do feel like it's going to be a very, they're just using the word kismet. Now, soon is different to everybody, but I feel like it'll be a very kismet meeting and a very kismet design, and you will be very happy with it. So, yeah, yeah, you are. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm going to go to Eva. Eva says, hi, Tony. I'm waiting for my GST number to start my business from, <clears throat> from a long time of facing issues. Will I get it now? Ooh, I feel like there might be a little complication, but I do feel like the opportunity for it is coming in. I feel like if you're expecting it before Is she going to get it in July? No, August, September. Yeah, I was originally getting September. I'm going to say I feel like in September it's going to come through. Uh, there might be a, I don't know why I'm hearing clerical error. I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to do some healing and clearing to move away everything that is, um, that might be in the way of this. So, uh, hopefully that will help smooth it out and bring it to you. Okay, love. But as soon as you um, have everything else, what I'm hearing is as if, as if. So keep moving forward as if it's already there. Have everything ready because once it happens, everything will be full steam ahead. So if there is a little clerical error, it's okay. Just keep, it'll, I just feel like September, whatever that means for you. Hey, Karmic Karen. Um, <clears throat> hey, Anne from Belgium. Wonderful. Um, let's see what's Anne's question. Is there a message for me from your guides thank you for sharing and i typically do um specific questions and i'll i don't do them from mine i do them from yours which is okay i'm gonna i'm hearing work i'm gonna give you i don't know if uh work is a good area to 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 uh give a, a message from you know, and I feel I, what I'm hearing is start it now. Now, whether this is work on a business, work on a relationship, work on uh, whatever it is, um, I hear start it now. Just start it now. You will be so happy if you start it now. It will uh, It will be... It will move quickly and have a lot of power if you start, just start it now. That's what I'm hearing, love. Just start it now. Whatever it is, whatever area, start it now. And I, I'm trying to ask them, okay, give me more. And they, you know what they said to me when I said, give me more? Like, what is this about? They said, she knows, she knows exactly what we're talking about. And then Anne replies, yes. Um, and um, clear as crystal. Thank you for that confirmation. I really do appreciate that. I do so much. I appreciate the confirmation. Uh, Mr. Graven, hey there, how are you? Uh, will I still be with the same job and position for the next year? Well, you know, the first thing I want to say is it's up to you, but I feel like you may be thinking of moving on. If you are thinking about that, listen, to, always listen. Um, I feel like you may have something coming in or you may hear or see something coming in that you're going to investigate that you decide to do and you're going to love it. It's going to be really powerful and positive for you. I feel like you're going to want to run with it. Um, it's, 
And if you do, it is a completely different company. Excuse me, it's a completely different company. But you're going to be very happy with the choice. Um, so yes, 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 yes. Alexis, let's see what Alexis has to say. Hello there. What will next year bring for me and what is in my love life? Okay, Alexis, that's a bit much. I answer one question for people and a lot of people have um, put in two questions, but I try to do one question for everybody. Um, I will do love life for you, Alexis. I'm going to ask, uh, when will someone be coming in for Alexis as far as partner, love life, significant? You know, I don't know, Alexis. Uh, if you're already with someone, I feel like this can expand greatly. But if you're not with someone, that's someone, it, it, there's the potential for someone to come in like now, soon, very, very, very soon. Um, so Alexis, let me know, are you with someone now? Um, or is this someone new that's coming in is it someone new i feel like it might be either you know whatever's going on it's it's going to start expanding there's an expansion so i hope that's helpful alexis i really do uh you're single okay thank you for confirming that for me yeah there's someone there's someone i okay when i hear tomorrow it doesn't literally mean tomorrow it means like it's 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 right here like it could happen today it could happen next week but it's it's here this is the time there's an opening we have to take advantage of the opening so what i'm getting for you is that you are going to find <clears throat> someone's coming in now the potential for someone to come in now is there and whomever this person is there will be expansion and there's the potential for two people to come in at the same time uh i always say this when two people when there's this potential for two people to come in at the same time i always say sit back and pick like be very discerning but make how do i say this um the one who is like the most seemingly exciting or gives you those though that that energy or butterflies that's typically not the one that's a lesson not a blessing I know it's so hard though, right? When you feel that energy and you're like, ah, oh, oh, we have this connection. Make sure, first of all, both of you have that and they're not piggybacking your words and feelings. But second of all, um, the person. 90 seconds. No, I don't want the show to be over. <laughs> um, the person who feels uh, like home, you know, like when you put on your comfy cozy pajamas and old slippers and sit on the couch that's the one that's that's it that's that's everything that is everything okay okay um you guys 60 seconds i hope that this um if I, um, I, I did answer, I think, everybody's question. So if you did not get the answer, please re-listen to the show. And I'm not going to repeat answers, especially with 60 seconds left. So re-listen to the show and you will get your answer. Thank you so, so much. Um, you guys, I'll be back Wednesday at 7 p.m central time so come on back we'll do it all over again thank you so much for being here with me i love each and every one of you so stinking much until wednesday have an amazing rest of the week Bye.